Hello everyone and welcome to the Hacking Monks. Today we are going to see unvalidated redirects and forward. So many of you have noticed that when you click a button on a website you might get redirected to an external website or a web page. So this is where this vulnerability comes in. So if I take an example, if you have a button and uh, which redirects to google.com, what you can do is if I can change the source code on Bob suit and I can send victim a link where he or she can click a button and get redirect to your phishing page or your page which is stored on server so you can take credentials from him or her so we'll start with this and these are the common parameters we should be looking for when we are targeting a redirect vulnerability so these are some of them uh, you might get some other like you are I have URI so you can look for this and we'll start with a practical application again we'll be doing on a BWAP and uh, so uh, let us start with the normal case so if I choose here blog and if I click on beam it will be redirecting me to a website known as itsecgames.blogspot.com right so I need to change that now how so I'll go to I will intercept this request in my burp suit and see what does source code says or the request says so I'll just turn on the intercept and beam okay so you here you can see that you have got URL parameter here which says that it should be redirecting this to itsecgames.blogspot.com what if I change here to https google.com and just click forward and yes you can see you have been redirected to google.com now another way to check this is when you you don't want to change in the request itself what you can do is you can just go to you can just find out the valid pair or request like in this case it is this one I will send this to repeater that is control R or you can right click and send to repeater I'll do intercept off and this time I'll go with bing.com okay so here you can see that there is a follow redirection button so you can see the target is changed to bing.com here so this is a, how you can check if you don't want to every time go back to browser after changing the request you can do it this way as well so this was all about unvalidated redirects and forward um, there are many more cases possible and we'll be discussing that in the next video. This is version 1.0 So yeah, you can just take the screenshot of these parameters and look for them when you click a button on the website and report it if it is vulnerable Thank you so much